In this video, I'll show you how to repair the charging port on Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones. Uh, this commonly needs to be done if the charging port was damaged by the USB cable, or if your headphones just won't charge anymore but you know the battery is good. Um, also, if they were dropped, uh, there could be some damage to a cable that's attached to the charging port. Um, so maybe for a number of reasons you need to replace it, and this will show you how to do that. The first step will be to remove this outer cushion and this pad so you can get to the screws underneath. Once you've taken off that, you'll just need to unscrew these screws that are connecting this black part of the frame. After that's complete, you'll pop off this black frame so you can get to the charging port. There's one small black screw securing in the charging port into the shell of the headphones. After that's removed, I use a flat tip pry tool to gently pull this out. If this small plastic piece falls out, don't worry, just keep track of it. It is your charging indicator light. I would recommend going ahead and removing these screws that are holding uh, this panel in so that you can get to the back of the headphones and examine the rest of this cable. So flip the headphones over and you can pop this panel off. Remove this piece of tape Next, you'll want to detach this cable very gently so that you can examine the entire cable to make sure there's no damage. After you've disconnected it, flip the headphones back over and go ahead and pull this cable all the way through. At this point you can examine the charging port and this cable and if there is any obvious damage to this I'd go ahead and replace it. Um, if not then the issue is probably with the charging port and you should replace that and if you want to be safe just replace both just to be careful. To attach this you'll want the loose side down, white side up and you'll gently slide it in until all the contacts are inserted. Next step is to slide this through this little hole here so you can attach it on the other side of the headphones. Okay, once it's reattached, you'll want to flip this back over, get it lined up. Once that's in, get your small screw and secure it back in. After that's in place, don't forget to take your little piece of plastic that will help uh, properly reflect the charging indicator light. Once that step is completed, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and plug the headphones in uh, to the charger and see if your issue is resolved before we put everything back together. And once you've confirmed that your issue is fixed, we'll go ahead and 
start putting the parts back. After the black cover is back in place, you will want to make sure that this cap is on properly and then go ahead and secure it in with these four screws. The final step is just to put this pad and cushion back on and then you'll be done with the repair. And that's it. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comments below. And uh, a like or subscription would be much appreciated. Thank you very much.